Yeah, catches his first game of the homestand, and we're underway. First pitch down low for a ball, 1-0. 313. He and Matt McLean have done a nice job setting the table for the Reds. Gray Kessinger playing his first game at first base in the big leagues gets tested right away and handles it with no problem. To find the bag with your feet. Here you go, Blummer. He'll get tested right here. And it's a high throw, and he doesn't come down with it. Pena's throw is high. Hits the glove of Gray Kessinger. Now big lead for McLean at first, and Jonathan India drills one to deep left field, and that ball is going to be gone. So the error cost the Astros a run as India follows with a two-run home run, and just like that, Cincinnati on the board quickly. That's really something we haven't seen from Brandon Belak at home. He has given up. Well, now he's given up 10 home runs. That's only the second one he's given up here at Minute Maid Park. MD Anderson strike zone. Shows you that hanging slider getting. In from the minors and batted cleanup now all 10 games. And there's a ball in the left center field for a base hit. Corey Jolts will cut it off. And this guy will have to be watched on first base. He is the self-proclaimed fastest man in the world. There he goes, and the pitch is grounded to short. They don't have a play at second. In fact, they don't have a play anywhere. Jeremy Pena struggling here in the first inning, makes his second error of the inning. Swing and a miss. Belak strikes out Stevenson. That's the first strikeout, second out of the inning. Off the plate, ball four. That'll load him up. Ground ball towards short. Pena will glove it. His throw from the hole in time to get Sendell for the final out of the inning. If he's in the zone, 97 strikeouts this season and 67 and a third innings pitched. So he's on a fastball for a starter in the big leagues at 98.7. Ball popped high in the air, shallow right field. Will Benson coming in, going out. Spencer Steer and Steer, the first baseman who makes the play. 2-2 pitches, punch pass, Spencer Steer. That snaps an 0 for 9 for Altuve. He's on base with one out with a single in the right. There goes Altuve. The pitch is down and in. Catali's throw will be wide. Altuve picks up his fourth steal of the year. 1-2 pitches popped in the air. Shallow left coming in is Nick Senzel. He'll put it away for the second out. Here's Alex Bregman. Bregman sends one to right field, slicing towards the line, but Will Benson has it lined up, and that will do it for the Astros in the first. Anything else and like it, TK. <laughs> yeah, that was a quick no. <laughs> Ground ball to Bregman's backhand. Nice pick by Alex on the short hop, getting Kirk Casale. To borrow a, a first baseman's glove, I think it was Mike Mordecai's, to be honest with you. Well, here's one of those examples. He sprints to the bag, gets there, and makes sure he puts his eyes on Jose Altuve's throw. Run one unearned run in the first. And Belak does have a nice bounce back inning. A 2 1 pitch popped up by McLean, and Jose Altuve puts it away. Actually, that was back in the homestand here. That was when Baldy had a 100th home run. Altuve had his 1,000th run. Runs with Jose Abreu on this homestand on the train tracks. This time he grounds one to third, gobbled up there by Ellie De La Cruz. His throw across in time. That's the second out of the inning. There is a ball in the center field. That'll be a four-game hitting streak for Pena. So the double play combo, Altuve and Pena, have the two hits today for the Astros. For fourth time in a row, they've been paired up. Pena's going to try and get a steal, and he does. Get his seventh bag of the year. Jeremy Pena shows on the board. Sends one high in the air to right field. Long run for Benson, but he'll have room in fair territory. Puts it away for the final out of the inning. I yeah, I haven't talked to him, but uh, we'll see how it goes. All right. Well, the, uh, the Kessingers are up for it. We may hear from a guy who played shortstop here in an all-star game. Slowly hit to the right side. You can never take anything for granted. And Greg Kessinger oh, took him out. Took out his pitcher, Brandon Pelak, by sliding to the bag. Now making his 15th pitch of the third. Ball to center field and through for a hit. 
The Reds will have their third hit of the day. Steer two out base runner. Swing and a miss. The changeup keeps playing. Brandon Belak picks up a strikeout to end the inning. He has a couple of strikeouts, both on Stevenson. I mean, Michael doesn't express too much in terms of being fired up, but he had to be pretty fired up with hitting on the field today. Yeah, he smiled. <laughs> And out. talk to media, TK. There you go. So maybe on loan from Sugarland. Stays this pitch, and Altuve shoots one down the line and right. Could be trouble if it stays fair. It does stay fair and stays in play. Jokes will be held at third. Altuve with a double. Astros in business, second and third, and one away. Batting with second and third and one out. Infield back. Tucker lost one to right field. Pretty well hit. Benson near the wall. Reaching for the wall. Puts it away. Jolt can stroll home. Corey Jolt scores. It's now a two to one game. Kyle Tucker drives in his 40th of the year. Altuve moves to third. Inside. Up and in. Ball four. There goes Bregman. The pitch is down. No throw from Casale. Alex will pick up his a steal. Sharply hit ground ball, but McLean is there. That was hit well, but on the ground at the shortstop for the final out of the inning. Eight batters only allowing one hit to the last 80 of space. This ball is sent pretty well into the left center field. Long run, Jake Meyer still on the move. A diving attempt, and it's off the end of his glove and off the wall. That'll be a triple for Benson. Incredible effort by Jake Myers, who almost came up with one of the catches of the year. The arm side and down. Got him. Went to the fastball after all those change-ups and beat Senzel for the first out with a strikeout. Casale around the bunt, bunts it to Belak. Belak thought about making the throw, and instead will just tag out Casale. To Sally with a little safety squeeze drives in his sixth run of the year as Benson crosses the plate. Broken bat, one hopper, right back to Brandon Belak. He'll underhand it to Kessinger, and that will do it for the Reds. Ground ball towards the hole, backhanded by McLean. What a throw on the money. Strong throw from the hole and short. And Pena goes down on strikes. For Hunter Green, who picks up a lot of strikeouts, that's his first strikeout of the day. And he sends this one to right as well. Same result. Will Benson will put it away for the final out of the inning. When you found out he was getting the call, what was your reaction? You know, I, I told my wife at that time, I said, I, I, I'm not sure whether I was, I'm more excited for Gray than I was when I got my call up. We were blessed to be able to play it for quite a few years. And... Uh, you know, there are some changes. Meal money, for example, and that, that, that changes. 11 was a double. 3-2 pitch to Dela Cruz. Bounced over the middle, and it'll be played by Pena. That's nicely done to get the speedy Dela Cruz. Jeremy had his share of issues in the first inning. No matter what, 3-1 pitch upstairs. That'll be a walk from Belak. Use one here. Just could use any kind of out. 3-2 pitch. Try to get him a chase a change up again, but he wouldn't. That will load up the bases. And a little cue shot into center field for a base hit. That's going to score two runs. Benson with a two RBI single. Didn't hit it hard. Got one off the end of the bat, but he served it in the center to make it a 5-1 Cincinnati lead. And he gets Senzel here on strikes to end the inning. That'll be down and in. Kessinger, a leadoff base runner. There goes Kessinger. 2 2 pitches high and away, and Kessinger will be out at second base. Pretty good pitch for Casale to throw on, and he threw a strike to second. On Kessinger before he gets there, pretty good pop and throw. Now, a good take by Jolks with a walk. There is a ball to left field. That'll be down for a hit. Altuve is three for three. And he's into second base with his second double of the day. Jose Altuve rips one to left. In the air to right field. Off the end of the bat coming in Benson. Tagging 
And heading home, Corey Jokes. Now he stops, and everybody going back to their respective bases. Fly ball on the right. Benson towards the line, has room, and will put it away for the final out of the inning. Swing and a miss. Mayton comes back to strike out Casale after falling behind three and one. That's two strikeouts for Phil. Play on a regular basis with those injuries, doing a great job. This one down and in. A couple of full counts here. And swing and a miss. Beat him up top with a fastball. Getting McLean for the second out. Three strikeouts now for Mayton. In the air to left center field. It's hanging up for a while, so Jake Myers has time to get there and put it away for the final out of the inning. He's worked around four hits and four walks today. Only allowed one run as he strikes out Abreu. Second strikeout for Hunter Green. And one out in the sixth inning. In the air, pretty well to right field. Back goes Benson, looking up, gone! Yiner Diaz hits number five on the air, gets one back for the Astros. It's now five to two. We've seen plenty of pull side pop with the ability to get up on the train tracks. Now we get a chance to see a little bit of that oppo strength from Yiner Diaz. Opened up a little bit, let that ball travel. And went the other way, 368 feet, trying to bring this crowd to life and try and energize that dugout as they try to make the comeback against Hunter Green. It's a pretty casual oppo home run. Yeah, it was. That was about six rows deep. Allowed a home run in any of those. Now Pena into center field lines out to TJ Friedel for the second out. Go back to that swing. Fastball up and away. We talked about Altuve going with. That's exactly what Yainer did. Just put a nice powerful swing behind it, get it off the barrel, and let the velocity of the pitcher do the rest. That's some pretty easy power getting deep into the right field seats. 101 pitches now and Jake Myers goes down on a hundred mile an hour fastball if that's his final pitch He threw it a hundred Pena made a nice play on him last time up that one is cued down the left field line off the end of the bat And Dela Cruz is gonna have an easy double. He just glides into second base Foul tip caught by Yiner Diaz that'll be a strikeout for Stanek getting steer for the first out of the seventh Belak, he was the last batter Belak faced. There goes De La Cruz. The throw is bounced in there, and a great pick by Bregman to keep that ball from going into left field. De La Cruz is now six for six in stolen bases. Sharply hit, base hit in the left field. Stevenson has an RBI. That's his 32nd run batted in of the year. De La Cruz scores his ninth run of the season. Ending in a third did not allow a run. Benson continues to have an impressive day. He is now three for three on base all four times. Way up in the air, foul territory. Yiner Diaz gives it a look. It has just enough room to put it away. Senzel retired for the second out. That one's also way up in the air. This one in fair territory. Who wants it? Great Kessinger takes charge and puts it away for the final out of the inning. One for six with a couple of walks in his career. Reaches out and punches this one to center field. Playable for TJ Friedel. That'll be the first out of the seventh inning. This ball in the air to right field. Benson's had a lot of chances out there. And he'll put this one away for the second out. Sends this one pretty deep to right center field, all the way back, and that ball's gone! Forehead game for Altuve, and he drives one into the Astros' bullpen for his third home run of the year. Astros now down 6-3. to three. Pretty impressive swing right there on a cutter from Jose Altuve. He is feeling good, bouncing around. Got a center cut, cut fastball. And absolutely drove that one. 105.1. Getting on those legs. Stepping on that one and driving it out for that solo home run. 408 foot shot into the Astros. 71. Wow. That 
fastball punched in the air to left field. Playable for Nick Senzel. And that will do it for the Astros. Get his hand out of that thing. How do you take that pitch? 3 2. Somehow Friedel did, and he ends up on base. Tough pitch to take. Runner on the go. Diaz throw is in time. Yiner guns down another runner. That is his eighth caught stealing on the year. Young, inexperienced pitchers in this rotation. Now he has a chance to have a conversation with a veteran in Hector Neris. It went out to deep left center, and he's hit by that pitch. Neris really struggling. Yeah, the command is definitely not there right now for Hector. My goodness. And two. On the ground, Altuve flips it quickly to Pena, and they get the Speedy De La Cruz on a double play. So perhaps it is Alexis Diaz who is available today, because, oh, there's a low throw. Nice pick by Spencer Steer at first base. And there is a base runner. Line drive, single to right center. Abreu takes the turn. He'll hold up. Jose Abreu with a single here in the eighth. Knight to the center field. Didn't have anything to show for it. This one off the end of the bat could be two. Farmer throws to India for one and the return for a double play. And just like that, a Abreu single wiped out and the Astros are done in the eighth. Not appear that he is. There's a line drive hit into right field. Spencer Steer on base for the fourth time. Two hits a walk. He also reached on an error. Started out the day with a couple of strikeouts, but since then a walk, an RBI single, and now he's got one towards the wall in left center. Cut off by Myers, and that should save a run. They got over there in a hurry to keep that run from scoring. It's now second and third with nobody out. And that'll be a walk to load the bases. So a single, a double, and now a walk. Load them up. All third strike, 96 just on the edge for the first out of the inning. So, some hope in the bottom of the ninth, but there's a base hit that's going to really hurt their chances. One run scores. Tucker's throw coming in. It'll be cut off. Another run scores. Out at third base is Will Benson. But the Reds now lead this game 8-3. to three. And that'll be upstairs, ball four. Runners are going to take off here on the 0-1 pitch. That will not help Yiner Diaz stats. Although they weren't being held at first, so that could be. In the air, Tucker back near the track, near the wall, reaches up and it's off the wall and bounds away. Two more runs score. All the way to third comes McLean. He gets the hold sign there. A two RBI triple that Tucker couldn't quite come down with off the top of the wall. Ground ball, Bregman short hops, a nice play, end of the inning. Damage done, four more runs for the Cincinnati Reds. Hits this one to the right side, fielded there by Steer. He'll flip to Cruz covering, and that's one out in the ninth. When he was an all-star with the Astros. That didn't have to be a strike, oh, but it is. Now. Gray sends one in the air to left field, and that should do it for the Astros. Nick Senzel moves to his left and puts it away. Tough day for the home team. Cincinnati wins it 10 to three. They have now won their last eight games on this road trip. Excuse me, their last seven games on this road trip, and 10 out of their last 12. The Reds team that is red hot. More on that in the post game show presented by Whataburger. It will be Vanessa Richardson and Brian Bogusevic as your host. We'll hear Dusty Baker's press conference and from others in the clubhouse. Astros post game show presented by Whataburger right around the corner.